Dashing through the snow in one who super sleep. Oh, hey everyone, Merry Christmas. I hope you're having an amazing holiday season, spending time with uh, family and loved ones. Now for the special occasion, I decided to publish a video which I was postponing for quite some time right. In this video, I'm saying final goodbye to my first car. Now don't be sad. That's not the end for Andy Automotive. I'm hoping this is just the beginning for bigger and better things on the channel. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Now cue the intro. <laughs> again uh, so so guys it's the next day uh, and if you saw the video so far I removed uh, almost all the, the seats and the rear lights so for today I'm planning just a few simple things uh, I would like to remove the rear spoiler and uh, side mirrors as well and maybe the bonnet I'm not sure about the bonnet or the hood for my American friends. So yeah, join me. I'm planning to start with the rear wing to extract it. I believe I should go inside and simply remove four 10 millimeter bolts. I hope uh, this is it. Let's go. At least one thing is going easy for now. The last one. Is it going by going by hand? Oh yeah. Yes, done. Let's see if the wing goes out. Okay, I removed the bolts and I think the only thing left right now is just to push it out. Okay, now I can remove the bolts. And just like that, the wing is out. Uh, so, removing the rear spoiler was pretty easy. As a next step, I would like to continue with the side mirrors. Uh, to remove them, I believe I should go inside, remove this plastic cover. Let me try it with one hand. Nah, no, no, it's not gonna be that easy. Okay, success. So, after removing the plastic cover, we have just two, two bolts or whatever you call this and one clip. The first mirror is out. Uh, one mistake I made, uh, first remove the bolts, then undo the, and did the clip. Uh, if you ask me, you should do it uh, the other way around. Okay guys, the side mirrors, as you can see, are out. Next up, I would like to move to the headlights. It should be a pretty simple job just to bolt on top 
and few clips at the back. It's day three of parting out my car. Today I'm gonna try to remove the instrument coaster and the hood. Okay, unbolting the hood itself should be pretty easy. It's here out on ju just only two bolts on each side. But the tricky part is how am I gonna support the, the weight of the hood since there is nobody to help me here. I think I'm gonna use the spare tire just to keep the hood just slightly open so I can access the, the bolts. Okay, let's see. ready to be removed. Uh, it wasn't easy, as easy as I planned, but uh, yeah, I didn't break anything, so I consider it, consider it, <coughs> so I consider it, <coughs> so I consider it a success. <sighs> My lower back hurts a bit, but as you can see, finally, the hood has been removed <laughs> and uh, I think you can guess that the car has been sitting for almost four years just look at that so much dust everywhere next up I want to salvage the radiator because probably you can see but it was brand new when the car went a bit dead uh, the cooling system is already empty, so I believe to remove it, I should just unbolt um, this hanger, this bolt, same thing on the on the other side, unclip these these water hoses, and then. It should be pretty easy to, to remove it. Okay, situation report. Uh, I have ditched the idea of taking the radiator out. Uh, simply because uh, there are few bolts sitting on the bottom of it, or, or on the bottom of it, uh, and I just don't trust the only jack I have in the garage. So yeah, the radiator, the radiator is staying in. But on the positive side, I have managed to remove the, uh, the left side skirt. It was held only on uh, five Phillips screws. Okay, it's day four of me trying to part out the Fiat. Uh, today I'm gonna try to remove the instrument cluster without taking the steering wheel out. I believe to do it, I should unscrew three Phillips screws on top of the instrument cluster and uh, two hexagon bolts uh, on the bottom of it uh, to remove the plastic panel in front. The panel is ready to go out. I just need to remove uh, two clips on each side for these buttons. A few seconds later, the plastic panel is out. Uh, 
and uh, now the instrument cluster is ready to go. Um, as far as I can see, it should be pretty easy drop. Two hex bolts on the bottom, two hex bolts above. Okay, few minutes and few struggles later, the instrument cluster is extracted. See, there is a little crack here, but it sits behind the plastic panel, the plastic panel, so it's won't, it's not gonna be visible if somebody decides to buy it later on. And uh, the instrument coaster was the last thing that I was planning to salvage from the the Fiat. Uh, as you can see, just with, with a few simple tools. I was able to save a lot of parts which I'm planning to sell, resell later on. Fortunately, I have neither the capabilities nor the space to dismantle the car completely. So what I'm going planning to do tomorrow is to call the junkyard to take the rest of it away. Yeah.